lie, even when I'm away OT, OT, there's never much love when you go OT I pray to make it back in one piece I pray, I pray That's why I need a one dance And I wonder so much for welcoming me back on my um on sunday's vlog i don't know like when you take a break from social media especially like youtube i feel like i don't really care about instagram y'all know that i already touched on that but like i feel like with youtube when you dip off and take a break like it's very risky because people forget about you or like when your video pops up it's just like Mm, she hasn't posted in a while so like i don't really care to see what she has to post you know what i mean like it's hard to get back into a groove so um i just want to say thank you so much y'all are so sweet y'all like did not disappoint at all like i was so scared to post that video not because of anything in the video but just because like i said like when you come back from a break it's just like you never know what's going to happen but of course y'all didn't disappoint so again thank you so much so today is Monday, it's now 7.57 and I've just been sitting here like reading the comments on that video, replying to comments and stuff like that. Of course my best friend was like the first person to comment, I think her comment was the first one. Um, but yeah, I just love her so much, love you guys so much and again thank you for the support. So um, yeah, this vlog, I don't know where this vlog is going to go. Um, I'm about to like do some digital planning right now for the week because I have a lot of sponsorships to like film this week, send over this week I think, and probably start posting next week. So I'm just trying to like get that situated, get past sponsorships, like just check up on them, um, see when that money is rolling in because I'll tell you one thing about the brands. They will like pester you. Some of them will pester you to get the content out and then drag their feet when it comes to paying you and stuff like that. So I just want to make sure that I'm on track. Um, on track or should I say keeping track? I think both. Um, on track of when I'm supposed to get paid because sometimes like they'll pay you way past the deadline of when they're supposed to pay you. Um, so I just want to check up on some that I posted, a, not a while ago, but a couple weeks ago that should be like rolling in this week. Um, and yeah, plan TikTok content and stuff like that. But I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys and welcome you all to the vlog. Isaiah's texting me right now. Um, he be texting all day, even though like I be upstairs and he be downstairs in his office. But um, yeah, I do have an announcement. It's not the it's not a good announcement. I would say not the best. It's not good at all. But I feel like I haven't touched on it on any other platforms. And um, 
it's it's kind of a factor as to like why like so that video i filmed like what november november girl it's early don't mind me september 21st i think and then the beginning of this month i want to say um so between i think when i ended that vlog and i wanted i just say now i guess or maybe like last week um i haven't filmed anything for youtube because my dog passed away so um yeah i'm not gonna get emotional hopefully i'm not but my baby girl lola passed away she was only seven and um it happened like unexpectedly like suddenly and um we just been dealing with that she passed away not thursday that just passed but the thursday before that so it's just like a little over a week um like this thursday it'll be two weeks so yeah that was really really hard for isaiah and i i got her i think in 2015 or 2016 i don't know it's early girl my math is not about the math right now so if she was seven i'm gonna say 2015 girl do the math for me but i got her a couple years ago and um yeah my girl has been like all over the place so i got her back when i was living with my mom and in college and it was i think it was like i got her my third year of college because i wasn't living in the dorms anymore and i was just gonna be at home and i just wanted like a something to keep me company so me and my mom went and got her um and i'll answer some pictures like the first time my mom held her we were at the pet store and stuff like that um and so after that i think i want to say a year later or maybe two years later because i was in college for five years um two years later my mom ended up selling my childhood house and i ended up moving in with my sister and at the time my sister was renting so she couldn't have any pets in her house so what happened was lola ended up going to live with isaiah in texas and isaiah and i were doing like long distance we were already doing long distance um but my mom was going to go stay with her friend because the house that she wanted or like the block that she wanted to live on there were no houses up for sale yet but the market was really good to sell our house so she sold it moved in with her friend i moved in with my sister and you know it was just like a waiting game of when a house would come on like come up for sale on the block that she wanted to like um buy her like forever home on um so the only thing that could happen was for lola to go to texas to be with isaiah um and isaiah had already bought his dog his dog is dean and now our dog but um like i wasn't there when he got dean so he had already had a dog um but we just considered both of our dogs our dogs you know what i mean so i think isaiah was already up from texas like already in philly from texas i guess visiting me around that time frame where i needed to move so he ended up taking lola and my girl went to texas and then um that was like the beginning of august the end of august i moved in with my sister and then the following may so august to may i was living with my sister and i ended up graduating and then once i graduated i moved down to texas so i was there with isaiah our dogs and we were like a little family and then you know we were there for a hot minute and then i ended up moving back up here and when i did my mom ended up buying a house on the block that she wanted and um i started grad school so that whole time period lola just stayed in texas because it just kind of made the most sense and whenever i would have breaks and stuff like that with school or i wasn't working at the time i was a nanny when i wasn't working um or like when i would take vacation and stuff like that i would go to texas and then um fast forward then i think maybe like two years later or a year and a half later i say it gets transferred to or not transferred stationed in maryland um 
because Isaiah was in the Air Force. I don't know if y'all know that, but he was in the Air Force. He's not anymore, but he got stationed in Maryland. And then I ended up just basically commuting back and forth. Like I would go to Maryland on the weekends and then come up to Philly on the weekdays to, or be here on the weekdays to go to work as a nanny and then also go to school because I was still in grad school. So I was like going back and forth between Philly and Maryland, but Lola was staying in our house in Maryland and we ended up buying a house. Um, and so I would just be there whenever I could. And then after that, yeah, we moved back to Philly because he ended up getting out of the Air Force and we've just been here ever since. So um, even when we went to Florida last year, like I don't remember, I don't know if y'all remember when we went to Florida last year and we were there for like, um, like three and a half weeks, maybe a month. We took our dogs with us and stuff like that. So Lola has been all over the place, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Pennsylvania, Texas, Maryland, Florida. Um, yeah, my baby girl. So she ended up having kidney stones. We found out over the summer. They said her breed is prone to getting kidney stones. She's um, She was, dang, that's crazy. She was a Yorkie Shih Tzu mix. And I think Yorkies are the ones that are prone to getting kidney stones. So she was put on medication over the summer and all throughout the rest of the time. Um, and uh, yeah, it just happened. Suddenly we woke up on Wednesday and TMI, but she had like diarrhea and stuff. We gave her a bath and uh, Isaiah ended up buying a doggy bath for our dogs. And it's basically like a almost like a baby bath but it's like it's like soft plastic if that makes sense like i don't know how to explain it but you can just stand up on its own or you can put it inside your tub but she loved it so we gave her a bath and um we were just like we're just gonna leave her in the in the in the tub because she likes being in there anyway and so she basically stayed there all day and then the following morning like she stayed in the tub in the bathroom and then the following morning thursday morning when you woke up i just i don't know i just felt off like i just i'm gonna say like i i genuinely in my heart i knew i don't know how i did because she wasn't that bad on wednesday like you know when you get sick it's just kind of like you want to rest and then you know you get better that's what we were thinking we were thinking like we're just gonna give her a bath let her rest and she'll get better um and if she wasn't better by thursday we were going to take her to the vet so when we woke up we kind of just laid in bed and I, I i promise you i i don't know if god spoke to i don't know i just i knew i knew she i knew she was gone so i didn't end up going to check on her because i knew i couldn't because i i knew i just i don't know how i knew i can't explain it but I know I just had a gut feeling so I had Isaiah go check on her and he goes into the bathroom and he's like low and like there's just like silence so he's like Lola and silence and I was like what's going on like I, I said it just like that because I, I, I already knew and he was like oh my god I think she died and I was like even though I knew, I just, I guess I was in shock. I was like, no. I was like, are you sure? And he's like, I'm touching her. She's not moving. She's stiff. And I just like broke down. Like we both just like broke down. I called my dad right away and was like on the phone crying with him. And yeah, it's just like, we've already been dealing with so much. Like you guys have no idea. I don't want to get emotional. I'm not going to get emotional. Um, but it's just been so much going on behind the scenes. Um, so much. Like, like you wouldn't even believe it. And it's just like, that was kind of like, just like, the worst timing ever. Um, so yeah and like we're still we're still dealing, dealing with so much like it's just i told you my last vlog that life has been lifing but no seriously like life has been lifing like i'm not even joking like i know i was laughing when i said that in my last vlog but you know sometimes you gotta laugh to keep from crying and girl 
I don't know what's been going on and I know it's not just me I know everybody has stuff going on and it's just crazy like can we have a break can and I say we not me and Isaiah not our families like we as in us like you me everyone watching like can we just have a freaking break like I know everyone is going through it and it's like dang life is hard so yeah anyway like I said I'll insert pictures of my baby girl and um we ended up calling um some people to come pick her up um not animal control although the truck did say animal control but it was more so like a pet cremation company and they came and got her and yeah that's been that my mom told almost everyone in my family and so people were calling me non-stop checking on me which was really nice and um Isaiah's mom was so helpful I called the pet cremation people first just to see like what prices were and if they weren't able to come if they were going to be able to come out to philly because they weren't in philly um and they they said they would and i told them i would call them back but isaiah's mom ended up calling them back and like handling everything for us so when they came we just had to pay and they came and you know they got her and stuff like that um i don't want this to be super long oh my god but yeah so that's basically it um it's definitely weird without her and it's like it's crazy that stuff always happens over the holidays or not over the holidays but like either right before the holidays or like during the holidays and it's kind of like the holidays supposed to be like such an exciting time and it's just like sometimes i think i even said it in this not in this on my channel before that um sometimes i get like paranoid i know people do too like paranoid around the holidays because it's just like it's supposed to be like the most wonderful time of the year like joyful and stuff like that and it's just like it's also scary because it's like you never know what could happen and you don't want anything bad to happen over the holidays because it's, it's the holidays and then it's like if something does happen bad it's just like you always remember it around that time like you know what i mean so i don't know i feel like some people do get depressed around like christmas or thanksgiving like the holidays i guess in general but yeah and i'm i know it's not the holiday season yet but we're almost in november and so i'm just considering it holiday season because i feel like once october hits we have halloween and even though that's not like a holiday for everybody like not everybody is in love with halloween i just still consider it like october november december boom we're in holiday season to me so yeah but and that's it i'm glad i didn't cry because <laughs> y'all know i'm a cry baby um i don't know i'm emotional so yeah but that's it i'm about to start getting ready to plan like i said i'm gonna make chili tonight i made chili like three weeks ago maybe a month ago and it was really good so last night isaiah was like can you make chili again and it was crazy because i wanted chili again but i wasn't gonna make it again because that boy is picky and I felt like it was going to be too soon for him to want chili again, but I was shocked. I was happy because I really wanted chili. Like, y'all have no idea. So, yeah, that's my update, I guess, for this vlog. I know I didn't really have one last vlog, and not that this is a good one, but yeah, but I'm doing okay. So, I'm just holding on keeping it pushing i feel like i can't do anything else but that so yeah
into these packages, girl, because this is crazy. And who told Isaiah to put this stuff on my desk? Now I got to disinfect the whole thing. But, um, yeah, I've been home for a little bit. Started on the chili. And, yeah, I haven't gotten a break since I got home. Because it's, I think it's like 2.45. So, it's the same for me. Um, I got tomato sauce all over this shirt. You can't see it now because I use water all over my pants. But yeah, I just wanted to change it to something comfortable to cook. And um, chill for the rest of the day. Y'all know I hate outside clothes on the inside of the house. Outside clothes, inside the house. Yeah. Anyway, let's get into the packages. Okay, go get something to eat. Go get something to drink. Because we about to be here for a minute. So... My last vlog, I said I wanted to get some fragrances. Um, these didn't come today. I've already been using them. I already opened them and stuff. But I put them back in the box to show y'all to get the full effect. So I got two of them. I got Beret Her. This is the Elixir. And then I got Perfumes de Marley Oriana. This right here, this is now my signature scent. Now, this is expensive so for me to be like oh this is my signature scent sis you can't use this every day because baby we don't got time to be rebuying miss oriana when we run out and i put a little dent in it already so i'll have the notes on the screen for y'all because i don't know them off the top of my head but this right here smells so good and it's the packaging for me like the bottle is so cute it even has like a little i don't know if y'all can see like a little gem right here to match the bottle the little tassels this right here smells so good run to your nordstrom run to i think neiman's has it sex and smell it and try to get a sample and see if you like it first because it's expensive but for me I've known I wanted it for a while and it was on sale for I think it was like $60 off on sex not me gluing my nail back on but I'm pretty sure it was on sale like $60 off so girl I had to grab it because go look at the price and then come back or if you know you know if you have it let me know if you've been eyeing it let me know I love this so much. Like I said, it's going to be my signature scent. I said that now, but I need to put the bottle down because that's expensive. And then Burberry Hair Elixir. So this smells so good. It smells just like Burberry Hair. I don't have Burberry Hair, surprisingly, but I've smelled it a lot of times and stuff, and I love it. But it was just something about this, first of all, the bottle. I feel like you can't even really see. Can you see from here? Yeah. So pretty. This is my favorite color of pink. Like favorite shade of pink, I should say. And it just, it smells so good. It's sweeter than Burberry Hair, like the original one. And I feel like it lasts longer on me. Because I go into Sephora, or I did. I used to go into Sephora and just spray Burberry Hair. I don't know why I never pulled the trigger on it because I really like it. Um, but I used to go and spray it a lot. And it used to last, but when I tell you this lasts a little bit longer, it's a little bit sweeter. And I think that's basically it. Like it might be a little bit more creamy, if that makes sense. Like a little creamier. But I think if you have the original, you don't have to have this. But. Me personally, like I was like, okay, I need this one. Whereas with Burberry, I didn't, Burberry her, I didn't like obviously pull the trigger. But this, I needed to get. So those are the fun things. Now let's move on. See, I hate packages. Like I hate because they're so dirty that it's just like I don't be wanting to touch them. But let's see. I have no idea what this is. A lot of this stuff is sponsorship. Um, they just have me, like I said, to all line up at one time. So yeah, this is 
like a card game type situation not like let's sit down and play uno type thing it's more like um how do i explain this it's more like those okay so it's basically like each card has like a prompt in it and then you and whoever you're playing with goes off of that so on the back it just says like the worst date i've ever been on dot 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 and then you go ahead and you say like your worst date type of thing so this is a sponsorship so what is this oh this is another a lot like i said a lot of these are for um brands that i'm looking at this next package is venus williams protein powder brand so it's called happy viking and i'm working with them on tiktok so i'm excited about this they let me pick out which one i wanted so this one is the green colada this has okra what the really okra broccoli asparagus spinach brussels sprouts cherry strawberry grape cranberry blueberry prunes raspberries carrots kales a whole bunch of stuff in here and um yeah i don't know i guess she came out with this brand and i know like kevin durant is an investor in it i want to say her sister serena and stuff a couple other athletes like celebrity not me smelling the um thing i don't want to open it but i don't want to make a mess um yeah i'm not gonna open it yet but other celebrity athletes are like investors in this. so this is also for tiktok Let's get some, um, okay, this one right here. I want to see what skin here. I have girl. My skin, I don't know if y'all can tell, but my skin is not doing good. Like, at all. And I'm back on my period. I was just on my period my last vlog. I'm back on my period. Oh, this is so cute. This is from Murad, the skincare brand. They reached out last, last month and asked for my information. So they sent over the environmental shield. This is essential C day moisture broad spectrum SPF of 30. So you have the essential C day moisture broad SPF 30. And then this is the correct and perfect serum broad SPF um, 45. So this is from Murad. I don't know why my camera no okay. Don't want to focus. Super cute. All right. What else? What is this? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this because I want to try this on for y'all, and I need to see if I even like it. So I got a jacket from Zara. It came in this ridiculously <laughs> big box. Um. I just get like a puffer bubble jacket. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my god, oh my god, wait till y'all see it. It's so cute. The color. Okay, maybe it was needed for that big box. And this is the jacket that I got. It looks like it's like like olive green on camera. Or maybe gray. I have to see when I'm editing. But it's like a a sagey gray color what is wrong with the zipper i think it's cropped so it has buttons it's monochromatic the zipper is the same color the buttons are the same colors as the jacket so it's all just one color um and this is for extreme weather conditions good because this was 90 dollars 89.90 I got a size medium. Is that what I got? I'm sweating. Not because of the jacket, but I'm just sweating because it's hot in my house. I don't know if he's on. If y'all could see the mess. Where's my um slipper? Okay. Let's go see what this looks like in the mirror. Let's see what this is giving. Let me see. Is it a vibe? Or is it not? Oh, okay, yeah. 
Let me scrunch the um the sides because baby, I do not like it like this. Not that I don't like it, but it just looks they don't give me a shape. So let me um pull the strings. It has it on both sides so you can clench it at your waist and stuff. So this is what it looks like and with it clenched. It has pockets. The the pockets are um hidden. And you just have a zipper. They're pretty big. They're okay size. Like my phone wouldn't be able to fit in here, but for my hand, it's it's okay. It is warm. It's the color. Like stop. This color is so cute. It has a hood, but it's not detachable. But it's a nice size hood. This is actually really warm. Like I'm hot. Like I was already hot, but I'm like hotter with this one. So this is a really cute. This is gonna be. It hits like at the right length for like sweatpants and stuff, for tights and stuff. So this is gonna be like really really cute for the winter. I love it. Um, I'm here because I want to get some Uggs. I also want to try on the um, Aritzia Super Puff because I see the TikTok girlies, the Aritzia TikTok girlies going on and on about them. So I just want to see. They're kind of basically sold out, so I don't even think I'll be able to get one. Um, but I just want to try them on to see if I even like it because um, some of them are available online. But what I would see that's annoying is that a lot of the times, like, their stuff um, sells, like, goes viral and sells out. And then, like, that's it. Like, you can't, you can't get your hands on it. But I don't know what size to even order. Some people say size, size down. Some people say go to true to size. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe I'll do a medium. Because I want to wear hoodies underneath. But if they're already saying they're oversized, I'm like, okay, well, I don't want it to be too freaking big. So, yeah. That's what we're doing. Just parked. I'm actually really hot. I have my heat last night because it's cold, y'all. It is cold. But the main thing is to get Uggs. So I wanted to come here because it's a thousand stores here that would have Uggs. So let's see which one has them. Uggs are also, the ultra mini ones are also sold out everywhere. Everywhere. So ugh, TikTok. I can't. I can't.
Good morning. Oh my god, I just snagged this. My nail. Anyway, good morning. Um, I just made a smoothie like y'all saw. It's 9.56. Um, we've been up. Who was this? Anyway, so... I lost my train of thought. I don't even remember what I was trying to tell y'all. Um, oh, we've been up since like 7.30. And I've just been like answering emails and stuff. And um, that's about it. So today is Thursday, if I didn't say it already. But we just want to do like a little glow up today because I have a lot of filming to do over the weekend. Like so starting tomorrow, I have a lot of filming to do. So I need to not look like this. Mm. so good so anyway yesterday um before i went to the mall y'all i went to like target i went to ulta i had like a whole bunch of runs to do i went to the supermarket again um i feel like i go to the supermarket every day and i probably do but i just feel like whenever we, so i need to start doing that better maybe i need to organize that better anytime we go to the supermarket we come home boom we're good and then we'll figure out they were missing something or we forgot something or something's running low so i need to organize that better because as much as i like going to the supermarket i'm not gonna be there every single day so yeah anyway from target i'm gonna dye my hair jet black my mom hates this so mom if you're watching click out um <laughs> She hates when I dye my hair, even though I just dye it black. She just still hates it because of the chemicals. My mom is really funny about my hair. She doesn't want me to cut it. She doesn't want me to dye it. Whatever. I'm dyeing it jet black because, or is this jet black? This is black is black because I usually do dye it once a year around this time, October, November time, um, just for like fall and winter or for my birthday. Um, I know you're probably like, girl, your hair is dark already. But I have my TV on, so if the light's like changing, it's because of that. But my hair actually isn't as dark as I want it to be. Like, here, I'll just take it out for y'all. It's so greasy. It needs to get washed. It definitely needs to get washed. Um, It looks black. It looks dark. But you're going to see a difference when I dye it. Like, my hair is actually, like, brown. Especially the ends. Like, they're so, so light. Like, literally, this is not black to me. This is brown and, like... In person, there's actually some like really light brown pieces, so you know, it's jet black season, so <laughs> I need to dye my hair. And also, I like my dye my hair because my hair just looks a lot thicker, it looks a lot fuller. So, yeah, it's getting dyed today. And then, also, I picked up a hair mask, I picked up a little one just because I didn't want to commit to the big one. Um, let me put my phone not disturb. So, I just wanted to try out the big one. I mean, the little one first. And this is Eva NYC. This is the therapy session hair mask. I don't know if any of y'all have used this, but if you have, let me know. Um, it smells so good. I smelled the big one when I was in the store. And it smells amazing. So... It had good reviews and stuff, but I just wanted to try it out first. I can't smell it. I need to try out the little one first, and then I'll go from there. Also, y'all see, I don't got no nails on because we're about to do our nails, so I need to film that for TikTok. So, like I said, jet black season, so we're going back to black. I just had black nails before the last set that I had, but I figured since we're in the ending stages of October, like today is the 20th, I think today's actually my friend's birthday. Or is it tomorrow? I have to figure that out. But anyway, yeah. Black. On black. Oh, black everything. So black hair, black nails because I wanted it to be like, you know, Halloween vibes for my nails anyways. So yeah, and then I just picked up this one. This one is um, in the shade Milkus. I think that's what it's called. Can you see that? It's Milk and then IS. And this is just like a milky white shade. So after I, you know, wear these, I'm going to put these on. Because um, then I think I'll be done with black for 
a hot minute. So, yeah. Then I picked up the Color Wow. This is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. I see this all over TikTok. Um, I think it's supposed to make your hair shiny. Like, I'm not really sure what this is for. Let's see about this. I really wanted it because I thought it was going to add shine. And I really want my hair to be shiny since it's going to be super dark. The packaging will make you think like, oh, this is going to add shine. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it will. I don't know. It doesn't claim though. So I don't know. And then I just got another Morphe foundation. This is my favorite foundation. If y'all didn't know that, this is like my all-time favorite foundation. This is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. And this is in the shade Tan 19. This is medium to full coverage. I love this foundation so, so, so much. I always like use it and then stop using it and then i go back to it and i'm like why did i stop using it um so yeah i'm gonna do a like a little get ready with me in this vlog because um one of you babes asked for like an updated makeup tutorial so or a makeup routine so i'm gonna film it in this and just show y'all what i do even though nothing has changed but i just feel like i haven't really done makeup on camera in like forever so I'm actually glad she asked that because it's been a minute since I showed y'all. Even though, like, what I do is nothing really special. Um, but still, I'm going to show y'all. So, I just bought that because I'm running low on my, the one that I have in my drawer. Um, and since I was there, I was just like, let me just grab it now while I'm here. Instead of waiting until that's completely finished. And then I'm, like, scrambling to go get a new one. So, yeah, that's it. Um... So yeah, we're about to do a glow up. I also got some lashes from Amazon. I'll show y'all after I'm finished like my hair and my nails. Cause we're gonna do that as well. And I need to do my eyebrows. Um, I need to shave. I need to exfoliate. I need to be a girly girl. Like I need to do everything, every single thing, cause I look a mess clearly. So let's hit the glow up. Um, this is gonna be an all day thing. Oh, I hate doing my hair. I hate it. I hate it so bad. Um, my nails, I'm fine with that. But my hair is just, it's a process. Anyway, cue the montage. Cue the glow up. Let's look like somebody. Because this is not giving. At all. Bobbing on the low. Walking on the low. Smoking on the low. I still been flying on the low. Screaming on the low. Farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, walking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low. Gaming on the low, the farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been So I just blow dried my hair. I just finished like maybe 10 minutes ago. This feels really low. Hmm. Anyway, I finished 10 minutes ago and then I had my hair in space buns and I just took my little clips out and this is what it looks like. I was just gonna go ahead and keep um, filming and then come on and talk to y'all, but I want to talk about this shine like I did use the color wow situation everything will be linked down below I thought it was going to be like having my hair like greasy and stuff it's not it literally feels like nothing is in my hair which I like because my hair gets greasy on its own anyway um but I was just gonna go ahead and keep 
doing my hair but i had to just stop and come on here and just show y'all this shine now i did use the eva nyc hair mask and then i also use my regular shampoo that i always use i showed y'all it's the um ramen ramen reason ramen reason nourish and gloss is that what it is something gloss girl gloss that's the only shampoo that I use and I love it. It doesn't leave my hair feeling like greasy or anything, weighed down, nothing like that. And it really does clean my hair good. So I don't know, that shampoo does a really good job at add and shine. Um, but I also use the BioSilk, what is this? Silk Therapy? Yes, I use this every time I do my hair. I use it after I blow dry my hair. I didn't put anything, I didn't put this in yet. I'm going to. Um, am I going to? I might put a little tiny bit of it. I always do put a little bit, but I might put even less than what I usually use since I already use this color while. I don't know what this is supposed to do still. Humidity? Like, is that what it's just for? Either way, I feel like this definitely did add a lot of shine. Um, the hair mask, I was reading it again. I think it does add shine too. It says it's supposed to smooth and smooth condition hydrate and i think add some shine so i guess a combination of those three I have my hair like this and i just want to tell y'all just in case you know you want to get your hair shiny me too so i'm gonna go ahead and i have to blow that a little bit more down the middle because it's not straight not straight but it's still like my curls are still very much active in my roots so i'm gonna blow dry a little bit more um but yeah i don't know if you guys can see a difference in the color anyway but i do it's it's i feel like it's giving this i feel like even though i'm pale it's not too harsh like i don't know i just i love it. and you see how i mean my hair isn't bone straight yet but you see how much fuller my hair looks so yeah anyway i'm gonna go ahead start straightening my hair i'm gonna add some of the bio soap and then when i come back on um, I'm going to add some of this as well. You see all my products are like shiny. So this, I love this so much. This is the Kenra Silkening Gloss. And it says um, for brilliant shine. It's a brilliant shine polish. So I put this at the very end right before I wrap my hair. I wrap my hair every single night. Even when my hair is dirty, I wear a scarf. Um, I've had this scarf for years like literally probably like eight years or so it's just a satin or silk scarf and i wrap my hair every single night like i do not go to sleep without a scarf on so yeah those are my little hair tips let's get into it this is it i also like to use this for my flyaways but you can only use a little bit because it will get greasy um not really greasy but oily so i try not to do too too much of it especially like up here in my roots um because yeah but that's it that's how i do my hair every single time not obviously not dyeing it and everything but blow drying it straightening it this is what i do every single time is it giving silk press or is it giving nothing <laughs> i think it's giving silk press what y'all think i don't know i'll have my flat iron down below but yeah is it me or i feel like it's probably can't see it on camera but i definitely feel like i see like right along here like some brown maybe i'm just maybe i'm tripping but yeah this is it this is the other side the big and all that that's it girl it's 3 30. i think it took about four hours not yeah three hours maybe three hours 
um that's including like showering and everything like shampoo and everything so yeah usually um if i don't do all the extra steps like dyeing and doing the hair mask and all that because i let the hair mask sit in my hair for about 15 minutes um usually this just takes like maybe like an hour and a half it's not too bad but <sighs> girl and from sitting here my back hurts and i still gotta do my nails and my my nails are dyed from the dye so that's gonna be cute in my tiktok yeah i'm gonna have to put a little disclaimer like look <laughs> excuse my hair dyed nails because this looks absolutely crazy i um rinsed it out without the gloves at first i forgot and then I was like, oh crap. And then I like put the gloves back on and it was already too late. So whatever. Now I'm just going to wrap it so that it can start like cooling down and settling and getting even. I feel like when I put my scarf on and stuff and like lay on it and stuff, lay on my hair and stuff with my scarf on, it makes it even more uh, like... I guess smooth, silkier, and shinier, I feel like. That could just be my head, but I don't know. I feel like my scarf be working over time for me. So, yeah. Um, that's it. It is super straight, though. Yeah. Let me wrap this up. Like, this is the only makeup that I do. Um, I don't even really switch out products anymore. Like, I'm just sticking to what I love at this point. So, everything that I showed you guys is what I use. Um, 
I love every single one of those products like to a T. Like I feel like I perfected my makeup look for myself. Like I like that I look like myself, but just obviously a little bit more put together. The only thing is, is that my blushes are from KKW. What's her makeup line? Beauty? KKW Beauty? So yeah, unfortunately, y'all aren't gonna be able to get these. Um, I do have some other blushes that I do really like. Like I have this Benefit one. This is the Benefit Butterfly. This one is like a really pretty orange. Like this on like medium tan deep skin tones is gonna be so it's like really really pretty um and then i also what else do i i've been using the rare beauty blushes as well the liquid ones um but these i feel like just work the best on my skin tone for me like y'all have no idea like if y'all not new here or if y'all are new here i used to hate blush so when I came across these, I like, I, I snagged them up because I was like, wow, like these made me love blush. So the fact that they're not available anymore really, really, really sucks for you because you can't get them. For me, because I can't get them once these run out. So yeah, I'll, I had to shade them on the screen for y'all, but um, I just, these are these two are the exact same color and then this one is just a different one so this is honey pot super pretty and then this one is honey love so i have two honey pots and then one honey love and i don't know what i'm going to do when i run out but we'll see so yeah um my lip liner it's from Amazon. Finally, they restocked. It was out of stock for a long, 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 long time. Super affordable. You get like a pack of five or six for like $8. And if you're lighter than me, if you're around my skin tone, if you're even deeper than me, like it'll look really, really pretty on you. I feel like it's just a universal neutral brown. So yeah, that's it. Um, Yeah, I need to re-up on this because I'm almost out. I know Sephora has these. Um, like the gift set where you get two for a discounted price. I'm going to probably pick these up or pick that up because I'm going to love that. Love this so much. Um, so yeah, we're going to the movies today if I didn't say that previously in this vlog. Um, it's 2.30. We're going at, the movie's at 5.30. Um, I bought the tickets yesterday and then... Um, we're gonna get Chick fil A before we go to the movies. Yeah, let me go. I'm wearing my Essentials gray sweatsuit, of course. Comfy vibes at the movie theater. And I'm gonna wear a belt bag, duh. And my fragrance is gonna be Oriana. But I'll come back on here in a little bit when we're about to leave so I can finish getting ready with y'all. But yeah, this is the look. Hold up. I forgot to tell y'all that I forgot. What was I about to tell y'all? Uh, I didn't end up getting a super puff. Um, my memory is dying. Uh, that's the whole situation. Aritzia, it's cute and everything. I just wanted to go on to see like what colors they would have in store. Again, like my sizing and stuff. I think I told y'all already. Uh, but they were like peer pressuring me uh, they were pressuring me to buy the stupid jacket and it was like really getting on my nerves like um i told them when i went in like hey i'm just here because i kind of just wanted to see my sizing i'm probably going to order online but i want to come in store just so i can you know order the right size because i figured y'all wouldn't have my the color that i want in store right so it was two people it was so funny the first girl I was like okay what's your name i told her my name and she was like she's like okay she's like my name is hope and i'm like girl that's my name that's my middle name so we were like laughing and stuff and she was super sweet everyone was really nice don't get me wrong but the peer pressure girl so um she was like here i think you need a small but you can try a medium if you want to i'm trying to hurry up I'm trying to beat my memory card um 
she was like and then i'll put you in the in the room and then i'll have so and so another girl come help you and i was like okay perfect fine so the other girl came in and she was helping me and she was like she was really sweet helped me put the jacket on and everything like the customer service is really good but so i figure out that i need a small and i medium like i was saying and i go to put the jackets back so I'm like, okay i want to go ahead and order online i need to figure out what color i want because they have a thousand colors so hope saw me putting the jackets back and she was like oh she was like did you figure it out like what happened and i'm like yeah i know i need a small now and i'm gonna go ahead and just order online because i don't know what color i want and she's like well no 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 you can come and you can look on our ipad and we have every single color on our ipad and you can see like what's in stock what's not in stock um and she's like let me go ahead and order for you in the store and I'm like, okay, I had my phone up and everything. I had Aritzia up on my phone. And I was like showing her, I'm like, yeah, I'm going through the clothes right now. Like, I just don't know what color I want. And she's like, yeah, 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 come up front. We'll show you the iPad, whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, okay. So I'm like scrolling through the colors. And then it's like the other girl that was helping me in the fitting room came out. And she was like, like asking like how everything went. And then another girl was like saying, you know, this color is cute. That color is cute. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And that's my problem. Like, I don't know which color I want. And I'm only getting one of these jackets. So I need to figure it out. And they were like just insisting that I bought it in store. And I'm like, no, I'm leaving. I'm going to go home. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to look at some videos so I can see like different colors and stuff. And then I'm going to buy it at home. Girl... I was so turned off that I was just like, you know what, when I came home, I was like, I don't even want this jacket no more because it was just kind of like, I didn't like that. Anyway, also, the mall didn't have my Uggs, so I came home and ordered them. So basically, I didn't need to go to the mall. I mean, I guess I did at the time because I wanted to buy a jacket and I needed to see what size I needed in order to order it online, but the mall was a flop, basically um so yeah that was the update because i realized i edited this video already and i um realized that i didn't update y'all on that but yeah that's the update aritzia i ain't like that they were really nice but like i'm trying to leave like they were not letting me leave the store like they were not i don't know if they're working on commission or what but girl i felt like i was about to buy a car or something because they were like really like pestering me to buy it in the store anyway yeah that's the update also i'll have these lashes linked down below they're also from amazon they'll be in my um girl <laughs> they'll be in my storefront and that is always linked down below i just glued them underneath and that's it all right let me go because this is nine all right bye